in this video lecture we will learn about stoichiometry and we will do some stoichiometric calculations to understand stoichiometry first we have to write a balanced chemical reaction a balanced chemical reaction is n2 plus 3h2 gives 2nh3 the stoichiometry tells us about the relationship in between the reactants and in between the reactant and products with respect to mass and with respect to volume it means with the help of a stoichiometry we can calculate the amount of one reactant with respect to other and we can also calculate the amount of product will be formed in a chemical reaction but first condition to apply stoichiometry on a chemical reaction is the reaction must be balanced the numeral before molecules in a balanced chemical reaction represent stoichiometric coefficients with the help of a stoichiometric coefficient we can get following informations in this reaction one molecule of nitrogen react with three molecule of hydrogen and produce two molecule of ammonia the second data is on the relationship between moles one mole of nitrogen react with three mole of hydrogen and produce two mole of ammonia or we can say if we want to produce two mole of ammonia in haber process we need one mole nitrogen and three mole hydrogen the weight of one mole of nitrogen is its molecular weight 28 gram weight of three mole of hydrogen is 6 gram and the weight of two mole of ammonia is 34 gram so we can also say that 28 gram nitrogen needs 6 gram hydrogen to produce 34 gram ammonia or we can say 6 gram hydrogen needs 28 gram nitrogen to produce 34 gram ammonia we can also convert mole into volume so with the help of balanced chemical reaction we can get the following relationships the relationship between molecules of reactant and products the relationship between the moles of reactant and product the relationship between the weight of reactant and product and the relationship between the volume of reactant and products now we will do some stoichiometric calculations the first question is in haber process we produce ammonia from nitrogen and hydrogen so if we want to produce 100 g of ammonia calculate the amount of nitrogen and hydrogen in grams so to produce 100 g ammonia how much hydrogen will require and how much nitrogen will require to calculate this question first we have to write a balanced chemical reaction of haber process the reaction is n2 plus 3h2 gives 2 nh3 we know that one mole of nitrogen require three mole of hydrogen to produce two mole of ammonia convert this mole into weights 28 gram nitrogen require 6 gram hydrogen to produce 34 gram ammonia now this relation tells us about the weight of nitrogen required and the weight of hydrogen required to produce 34 gram ammonia as we know to produce 34 gram ammonia we need 28 gram nitrogen so to produce 100 gram ammonia we need 28 upon 34 into 100 gram nitrogen and the answer is 82.35 gram nitrogen so with the help of a data from a balanced chemical reaction we can calculate the any amount of reactant to produce any amount of 
product. Now we will calculate the amount of hydrogen required. So with the help of data given an equation, we know that 34 gram ammonia require 6 gram hydrogen. So to produce 100 gram ammonia, the amount of hydrogen will require 6 upon 34 into 100 is equal to 17 point. So in the Haber process to produce 100 gram ammonia, we need 82.34 gram nitrogen and 17.64 gram hydrogen. So with the help of balanced chemical reaction and with the help of a stoichiometric coefficient, we can calculate any amount of reactant to produce any amount of product. Now the next video will be on the numericals of mole concept and stoichiometric calculations.